We're in Palisade, Colorado at the James M. Robb Colorado River State Park Island Acres Campground. We'll show you around later. But first, we're going to Colorado National, National Monument. Monument to do a little hiking before it gets hot. And eventually, we're going to get up on that. Maybe later today. It's a 32 mile drive from our campground all the way to Colorado National Monument. But I could drive for hours on these beautiful roads. Look at these views. We'll be entering the park through the east entrance by Grand Junction. The really cool thing about Colorado uh, National Monument is that if you don't feel like hiking down into the canyon, there are a ton of uh, overlooks on Rim Rock Road. Rim Rock Drive. It's a 23 mile drive and there are lots of places to pull over. Similar to the Grand Canyon, uh, not nearly as crowded. You could pull out, there's little walkouts to different sections and there are trailheads from there if you do want to take something a little more adventurous. But there's a road right there. Runs all along this edge, all the way around. Some really great views of all the surrounding areas, but it's absolutely beautiful. The beautiful formation standing by itself out there is called Independence Rock. And on 4th of July, uh, the Sky Auto started a tradition of climbing the rock and putting an American flag on top. And that's continued to this day. A lot of options here, but I think we're taking the Coke Ovens Trail. There were hummingbirds flying all around us. We finally got one to hold still long enough to capture some footage. So glad we came to this park as early as we did. Look at the scenery. And the weather was perfect for the hike. So this is the end of the trail to the cook ovens. We asked the ranger why this is a national monument, not a national park. They said the people in Colorado want to keep it that way to keep it a little bit below the radar. There's a railing. I only go as far as the railing and then a little bit more. <laughs> I was supposed to trust that railing with you. I just pushed on it. Exactly. It didn't fall. Somewhere over there is a doorway. I saw it when we were driving. Now I just have to find it. Okay. One time up there, climb. Let me climb. He thinks I'm a mountain goat, this guy. Better than a billy goat. Billy goats just eat trash. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, this is nice. Handmade. While we were driving, my husband spotted this, and I don't know how he's driving on that winding road and spots this. I'm so, there. yeah, from way across over the road, but we had to come back down here to see what was. He found it, and yet you can't see the end. Yeah. I do. It's hard to show the end. You have to zoom. I saw it from way over there. I know. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I can't see two feet in front of me. He keeps uh, us on the road and yeah. spots this. It's because it's shaped. Caught it's your eye. Natural. Oh, wow. I think there's something on the side now. This narrow winding road leads you through three tunnels, so be sure to do some research to make sure that if you're traveling in an RV, that you'll be able to fit through. Get out of their minds. 
This is a very popular cycling location with 2,300 feet of climbing. You wouldn't catch me riding around here. Seems like every pullout along this drive has incredible views. Feels like you can see forever. If you look to the left, you'll see a bighorn sheep. I believe the name on the sign says it all. And this would be the view looking west towards the town of Fruta. The view from the visitor center, or behind the visitor center. There is camping for tents and RVs, no hookups, a maximum of 40 feet with no dump station. On the western end of the park, you'll find Redlands View. Be sure to stop and walk out and check out the signs. On those signs, it shows you where to see the faults pushing the geography upwards. It's always a special treat to catch wildlife out in its natural surrounding. Not only is this park beautiful, but it's very peaceful. Here we are Friday afternoon and hardly anybody around. Well, apparently there are some goats on the landing down there, so we can't go down and check it out. There's one right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, we don't want to annoy the goats. And when it's wet. And on the other side of the road, up on top of the little hill, we spotted this male watching his family from a distance. As people got closer to his family, he decided to come down and protect them. Effortlessly. And every once in a while, the camera gets lucky. And after all that hiking, I think we deserve a treat. So we headed back to Grand Junction. Grand Junction is known for two things, their wineries and their peaches. With over 30 wineries in the area, you're sure to be able to find something that you'll enjoy. We certainly did, and the views are absolutely breathtaking, sitting in a winery, looking around at these rocks. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And remember, when you're out there loving life, do it hitched up.